I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit worried and a little bit scared. I haven't been here in years. It has been a long time. And the last time, for, oh. for me anyway, it was it was pretty bad. Oh, no. This was... You speak for all of us. Back I mean, in New York. I, I vowed three years ago never to come back here again. I've had really bad experiences at Burger King, and I feel like over time they've slightly declined a bit. But we're here yeah, because... We were tempted. We were tempted. We saw online that there was some uh, Mac and Cheetos bites. You had me at Mac and Cheetos. <laughs> yeah, really. Like both. Yeah. And they also have the new hot dogs, and we saw that they have a veggie burger. Yes. So we thought, let's just go to Burger King and do like this big meal. Let's just get the dogs, let's get the veggie burger, let's get the mac and cheese, and let's just do it up and, and do some it. taste tests. Yeah, because it's been a while, and you know, a lot can change yeah. in, in a couple years. That right there, that's what's bringing us in. Here we are. We got the mac and mac and Cheetos right there, looking pretty good in their little container. Fries actually looking pretty decent here. We got the two grilled dogs here. Steph went with the uh, Morning Star veggie burger. veggie burger, and basically we are trying other than the fries, which we've had before. We are trying all new stuff and very open-minded about it. Not not your first. Uh, <laughs> Not your first option or choice when it comes to Burger King. You think hot dogs, but you got to give them a shot. But these here, that's why we came, trying these babies. I'm really excited to have a veggie option for burgers because I don't eat meat. <laughs> Halfway decent here. Let's get a close one. Yeah. That looks pretty good. I forgot to say no mayo, but that's my oh, fault. Oopsies. Yeah, I have that. Wow, look at fancy. You got the little fancy uh, dog bun holder? <laughs> no, I'm talking about LinkedIn. Oh, yeah. Actually, and look at that. It is grilled. That's a real grill mark. So they must, they must really grill it back there. Okay. You ready? There we go. Here goes nothing. Cheers. You know what? It's pretty good. I like mine even with the mayo. In instant taste of the grill, which blows me away. Um, the dog is, I'm not sure if it's all beef. I doubted it. Oh, it yeah, is. 100% beef. Wow. Yeah, you, you can tell it's all beef because it's a little, it's a little bit harder to, to bite through. I like the other hot dogs that are like, you know, either have like chicken or pork or whatever kind of mixed in there. The bun is just basic, whatever your grocery store has on sale type of a bun. It's not grilled or, or uh, toasted or anything like that. But you know, I'm not the biggest dog in the world, but I'm actually impressed. I actually am. This is pretty good. If you're looking for just a quick hot dog, and for whatever reason, yeah. Now onto the chili cheese dog here. Hopefully this John Legend over here is not going to be too much of a problem. Music is bumping in here. Oh. Wow. It's kind of floated. Yeah, it is. Now you know the weakest link on a chili cheese dog is the chili. 
So I'm really interested to see what's going to go on here. To be honest, I have very low expectations. However, it was pretty shattered on my last dog. I really did like it. Look at that. It is loaded. It's huge, yeah. There's nothing. Very mild. Mm. Mild chili. Not too spicy, not too hot. Oh, it kind of reminds me a little bit. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like Sonic. A little bit. Oh, there's a little bit? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Let's keep going here. Can't look, never look good while eating. <laughs> Like the bun. <laughs> Normally with like chili cheese sauce, it's like yeah, it just falls over. Yeah, actually, yeah. and I like this chili on here as well. It's um, it's definitely not spicy or hot by any means. Um, so some people may like that. Yeah, it, that. it has it has beef. And I see some beans in it. Um, yeah, it's it's like a uh, it's just a light chili. It's nothing uh, nothing too fancy. Nothing over the top. I don't see any like onions or peppers or anything like that. It's just a basic front of the mill meat, beans, cheese, a basic chili. It's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, here I am eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember eating Burger King fries? Like, it's been a while since I've eaten Burger King. Last time I was in New York, many, many, many years ago. Yeah. And I remember the fries. Not being very good. No. I mean, again, like 15 years ago, everything was a lot different. These fries are thicker. I like them a lot. And I, and I do like them too, yeah. They're pretty good. They used to be a lot thinner. Yeah, it's like McDonald's fries. Yeah, so yeah. But overall, these are pretty good. Dare I say, I actually like them more than McDonald's. No. Yeah. Don't even. Yeah. Really? No, because wow. you know, McDonald's, yeah, they're good. They put like a crap ton of salt on them, and I don't like that. You can get a bad batch at McDonald's, for sure. Yeah. That's the thing with McDonald's fries. When they're fresh and good and salted right, they're the best fries ever. I think these are good as well. But when they're bad, you're eating sawdust. They're just hor they're horrible. Yeah. But yeah, these are pretty good. Yeah, they're like crunchy, like slightly crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. At least mine. Mm -hmm. Saving the best for last. All right, here's the moment of truth. <laughs> That's what we came for. So evidently, they basically made a mac and cheese Cheeto. Why didn't we think of that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you can honestly, you can put Cheetos and mac and cheese on anything, and it would sell. Who doesn't love Cheetos or mac and cheese? So, um, originally we saw it on social media and even went to Burger King's website. They didn't have it on their website we it was yet. A joke. Yeah, we thought it was a prank or a joke. You know how the internet is. But no, they are real. Look at this cute little bag. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah. It looks like an oversized uh, Cheeto Puff. Uh, Cheeto puff. Cheers. Um, num, num, num. Um, num, num, num. <laughs> wow. So that is a cheese overload. Yeah, if you, if you don't like cheese, you're not going to like this at all. It's like a radioactive mac and cheese inside, but it's really good. It's <laughs> a radioactive mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. With the, the kind of crispy deep fried Cheeto crust. Yeah. Yeah, it's like fried um, fried mac and cheese. Yeah. It's really good. I, I give it an A+. Oh yeah, these are good. Why do we only get one? I can feel the fat just <laughs> I <know. laughs> building. I can feel 20 pounds I just gained today. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. The inside is a warm, it's a warm, cheesy mac and cheese. It's like gooey on the inside, crispy on the outside. Yeah. And it has just a nice texture all the way around. Yeah, A plus. These are good. Yeah. It, I like them. I gotta say, overall, I came in here with pretty low expectations. I've been burned a lot from Burger King in the past. And, I mean, you wouldn't think hot dogs, veggie burger, which yeah. is Mo Morningstar, by the way, which is, which is pretty good quality. Yeah. And then these, I mean, overall, I would say, I would say A plus, we had a pretty good meal here. I think so, yeah. Which is, I think, saying a lot. I was not expecting that. So, kudos to uh, the team here at this Burger King. They're kudos awesome. to the, uh, the the masterminds at, at HQ <laughs> thinking of this stuff. It's pretty good. It's just like, it's so amazing. Get them while you can. All right, we got bonus footage, <laughs> bonus footage. So on our way out, we saw on the window over there, we saw that they were $1 iced coffees. Come on, guys. You know we're suckers for that. Oh, oh. failure. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. <laughs> so we've got vanilla and mocha. Big shout out to the manager here, Blake. Very, very nice guy. Definitely took care of uh, making our food good. Mm -hmm. Restaurants clean and nice, honestly. That's important. Okay, here we go, Steph. You're up. Okay. Vanilla, one dollar iced coffee. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 <laughs> nom. We say that from a Mitomo. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. Actually. Is it really? Yeah, try it. Here, guys. <laughs> And to think, wow. I know, and he said mocha was the best, and I think that one's really yeah, good. Yeah, he was honest and said mocha is better. This is pretty good. You can taste, you can, okay, so you can taste the vanilla, obviously. It's it's light, creamy. You can taste the mocha. And it's thick, like, and it's, yeah, it's it, thick. It doesn't taste like a watered down coffee. It does not, no, it doesn't. And you can, then you can taste a little, then there's the hint of coffee after. Yeah. That's really good. Uh, I'm ready! <laughs> For a dollar? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, you, you gotta try it. It's really good. It's really good. <laughs> I have a few sips to wash the palate with the vanilla though. So I should have done that. Cause it took me a few sips to get that flavor in there. Yeah, drink some seltzer. Yeah. yeah. Clear it out. Wow. Isn't that good? <laughs> it's like really chocolatey. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say honestly, these rival are Jack in the Box ghetto coffee that we yeah. like. And it's only a dollar. And it's only a dollar. The size of it is a little it's bigger than the small which is like yeah a dollar and change uh, i completely agree and it's a you really cannot beat the value with that like that's pretty good oh boy she's double no. <laughs> she's going in so overall a plus plus yes we had a great experience here good food thanks to blake and yeah. the whole team here at this burger king thank you thanks guys have a great rest of your day we'll see you later Ha, ha, ha.